All right, guys. Here we are. I got a couple of logs here for the sawmill. It's getting kind of late. When I went out this morning, well, this afternoon, you guys know I don't get started till one or two. It was 97 degrees out, so I'm hiding in the woods a little bit, and it's not too bad in the woods. I got three layers on here, just because I don't like. I don't know. That's just what I wear. Not all the time, but most of the time. But it, it really was not too bad. I'd go out there and work for an hour, hour and a half. That's all I'm good for. Then go inside, play on a computer, cool back off and dry out, and then go back out and do it again, do it about that. So now it's getting pretty late. The sun, it might be down over the hill up there. I'm not sure. I'd be earlier, but it's Mark's fault. Well, it's not exactly Mark's fault, but it is Mark's fault. I called him instead of him calling me tonight. Anyhow, because I knew as soon as I got into this log, we talk every Thursday, and it's great. Um, if you don't know who Mark is, Mark has got bus motor productions, but it's Mark Galici um, on YouTube. He wouldn't saw junk like this. He saw some nice logs, and tonight he sawed a most, the, probably the, one of the prettiest white oak logs that you've seen in a long time. So go up and check him out. He sawed that. I mean, he was sawing that so fast. I mean, he's he's got a modern mill if you don't know I think most people that are here know know to go up and see Mark but if not go up there and check Mark, Mark Galici's out he will be with me we have got we have confirmed and just about ready to send the money off to the Paul Bunyan show so we're gonna both be at the Paul Bunyan show again this year in the same spot and we're trying to figure out kinda do this do that do this do that I'm thinking about another saw blade and I bought a flag that you might have seen a couple um, maybe a month ago when he came in and making brackets so it'll fit up on my tent and we'll be up there um, hopefully that everybody that sees me here that can make it will be up there and maybe a bunch of people that are up there don't even have, have no idea who we are will be up there and learn about us and stop by and see the channel stop by and chat I know I'm gonna be giving name tags out if you got one of those little things with your name on it I'll be giving name tags out again that's definite probably give you these those round buttons to annoy you and Anything we can do to promote our channels is what it is. The lady up at the Bunyan Show, just the nicest lady in the world. Anything she could do, she's, she's just helped us out 100% because we're kind of green at going to these shows and, and getting a space and securing the insurance program for it and all that kind of stuff. But it's all done, so come, come on up to the Bunyan Show. There's going to be tons of us there. You, it's a YouTube heaven. There will be more YouTubers there then you can even begin to imagine and if you don't think so go to back 40 Dan up at back 40 firewood and put in the Paul Bunyan show and he did a Friday night live from the I think it's Fairmont motel in Cambridge and all those people in that show were all youtubers and they're all there and they're all just about going to be there again this year so anyhow that's that's that I got these logs I don't know if you saw some of these I'm gonna I'm going to put this on tonight, um, just because I haven't had a sawmill video in a long time. I don't know how much I'm going to get out of these logs. They're really, they're more meant to be firewood than they are to be boards. And I'll show you some of the reasons. Um, and then I'm going to sit you over the other side, start the thing, and see these cracks in there? See that crack? It goes all the way down. It kind of lightens up here, but you can see, see this crack? If you get up at the end, there's probably a crack right about there. Eh, maybe it moved over here. These things are, are checking out from just standing. This is that uh, last one that I pulled out that I cut the end off and I wasn't sure whether it's going to bring it down, but I did. That's a double heart there, but it won't make any difference. This one's got some big cracks in it. I already ran the metal detector over it. You can kind of see the metal detector sitting back there. I did take uh, get some, try to get some of the bark off that had some of the mud on it. I might do some more. I don't know that I'm, I'm going to do this one and see how it turns out. I'm kind of planning on one cut, one cut, and that's all going to be trash, and one cut and one cut trash, and then flip it down and go this way, and hopefully I'll get something out of it. That's kind of the plan on it. Um, so we're going to put you back there and see what we can do. See if I can even remember how to... Um, uh, do that. I use one of these to get uh, get the bark off a lot of times when it's fairly loose. I can't do it with one hand. But you can see, uh, you can't see, I'm moving the camera. 
But you can get quite a bit of bark off when it's loose with one of those things. I guess it's an icebreaker or something like that. So we're going to go over. And I had this running warmed up already a little bit. Um, I had to get the carriage out of inside here. And the easiest thing to do to get the carriage out is to start it up. So I started up, let it warm up. I got my planks on there. I got my um, lines on there, how I kind of like to saw it. We're going to put you about here. If I put you back a little further, maybe you get kind of the whole thing a little bit better. I, I don't have the, quite the setup that Mark has. He's, he's got, it, got it real good for not having a camera person. All right, put your ears on. We're about ready to roll. See what we can tear up here.
doesn't take long to chop it up. Let me show you these boards. This one. That one's actually not too bad. It's got a lot of weight on it. But for what I'm making, it doesn't make any difference. Not too bad. That's got the heart in it. When you get the heart, you get the quarter saw. See all the quarter saw flitches? These are usable, but you get down into here, these are pretty bad shape. There's that quarter saw. Once you get the heart, you got the quarter saw. Look at that. They get the cracks in it. Same with these over here. See how that crack goes right up it, then it catches it on that half. Same with that one there. It might be some, uh, I don't think it's ring shank. These are th thinner, I cut cut these a little thinner. Uh, that, that board there, I might be able to get something out of it, I don't know. I'll trim them up. That's just pure junk there. I think some of this, see the fungus in it? Some of this might be ring shank or something like that in there. It's not an impact fracture from dropping it. And they're all like that. So I'm going to see what I can get out of that one and see how it works for what I'm doing, which I'll bring you guys by. I think we're going to call it a wrap on this one tonight. Um, I'll put this away in this little parking place. Anyway. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty rough looking wood. I f I'll tell you what I'm kind of thinking about doing with it. I found a uh, couple rock pallets. Rock pallets are super heavy and they're usually made out of oak. Because I don't have any place to put any of this wood. I got, I'm all filled up so I, I want to make two wood crates. Just temporary that will turn out to be permanent because I don't ever throw nothing away. Um, that's all I'm trying to do and I make them 54 inches high so the length of these I can cut a little bit off and it didn't make any difference if it's got the um, pith in it or heart in it for what I'm doing so you know if you're making something you could cut this out of here and and then you know make some nice nice edging it, not very big logs I mean you can't get a whole lot out of big logs I don't know how many minutes I got in cutting it, um, and I don't know what I'll do with that down there, that garbage down there. All of this is pretty rough wood, so. Anyhow, I'm glad you stopped by. I still know how to run a sawmill, barely. What did it take me? I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to cut. Little ones, man, you can zip through them pretty quick. Um, so, and if I had Eddie, I'd probably cut that in five minutes. Eddie, come on down to visit. Um, anyhow, that, uh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of bewildered at the wood. Uh, my brain's in cloud nine right now. That's why I'm not going to saw anymore because I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I'm going to, I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go get those two wood pallets out because they're buried. Take them up to the house. And I might load these boards up and take them up the house and see if I can't put a wood crate together. Because I have all those pieces cut off up in the woods from the trees I just dropped. And I might just cut one more, cut two more, and then the rest just go to firewood because it's just not... It's not pretty wood. It's not. It's not good-looking wood. It's. It's just barely wood. See how this one here is, is busted all the way down there. 
But on those wood wood boxes, I don't think it's matter. Look at the see this one here. That's fractured all the way down. That's that's a real piece of junk. This one here is probably the best one. It's got a lot of weight on it, but for a wood box, uh, there you go. You got you got uh, all this there. It's just um, what you what you see when I drop those logs up there, and you see, you say, "Oh man, that's a good sawmill log. That's a good sawmill log." It ain't always a good sawmill log, you know. And sometimes people ask me, "Man, you should have taken that to the sawmill." Well, this is a good reason why you don't take it to the sawmill, and it's good that you see that sometimes, even though the logs look pretty, they ain't worth sawing. These are those pine logs I cut a while back for the extensions on my um, baskets like that up there. I don't even have any place to put this slab wood. I'll probably just take it up and put it in the burn pile and burn it or put some of it in that barrel down there. I used to save it for the boiler, but I'm all full up. Anyhow, we're going to call that a wrap. I am going to go while there's still a little bit of light out and um, get those pallets up to the house. Um, I don't like working at night with the lights on outside because the bugs will eat you alive. They're just, they're just too ferocious. Um, I like working outside at night with the lights on and when it's cold enough and the bugs aren't out yet. But they're out now, I guarantee you. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope you come back for some more. And to do that, to find out when I put the next video on, which I put one on just about every day. You guys noticed that I screwed up this morning. Actually, there was two on it. I needed to explain this. I'm glad I'm dropping this movie and just remembered. I put a movie on that I thought was a short, and I downloaded a long movie, and I couldn't figure out why they asked me to do this and asked me to do that, because shorts, they don't ask you to do this. And then I come to find out it was about an 11-minute video that was, uh, um, I thought it was a short. I just downloaded the wrong video, because a short can only be 59 seconds long. If it goes to a minute, then... It puts it into a regular movie, and I couldn't figure out why is it telling me it's a regular movie, so I just hit the wrong thing. So, anyhow, that's ex explanation on that. I hope you stay made it to the end. Bye-bye now.